I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I've, uh, I did a video yesterday in this beautiful room, and um, it's time to check out. I'm going to give a lecture on entrepreneurship in the church this morning. One of the things I got used to in life was that don't get addicted to sponsored comfort. This hotel is not paid for by me. I've been in this hotel for five times now. Each time I came, the companies paid, churches paid, organizations paid. If I get addicted to this kind of comfort, I will always want to be traveling and associating with people who would invite me to preach and stay in this kind of place. So early in life, my wife and I decided that we will set our own level of comfort. It might not be up to this. I have a house in a quarter that is as fine as this. 24 hours electricity with solar energy, serene environment. So I had to set a comfort that I built myself and I afforded so that I don't need to be a slave to any person. I'm willing to do with any person who does not need me anymore because people will definitely walk away from your life. If you don't, if you get addicted to somebody's comfort, either as his worker, his member, his PA, his media aid, as whatever, you become a slave to that person and you will never ever build your life. So don't get used to somebody else's comfort. Each time I stay in a hotel and I'm leaving, no matter how long I've stayed, I always remember the stoic principle, memento mori, one day you will die. So like uh, I started uh, packing my things to get away from this place because I won't want to overstay. So as an individual, no matter how young you are, know that you will leave this world one day. So start preparing for your exit. The legacy you will leave behind, how you will spend your old age, how your children will relate with you. I don't depend on my children for finances. They are doing well in Europe. I live my own life. They will always say, Daddy is a rich man. So build your life. Don't build your life on a denomination. Don't build your life in, on a congregation. Build your life in your generation that other generations would admire you. Number two, when you are starting in life, there are the following C's that will happen to you. The crowd. You will see people without identity. They just, a crowd has no identity. They have no philosophy of their own. They are just a mob. The crowd will want to suffocate you. When I came to Ogilvy, the crowd was there. And the crowd wanted to, they were afraid of my building my own identity. I knew who I was. I knew what I wanted. And I knew how I was going to go about it. But the crowd, they wanted me to conform to the way they preach, the way they lived. No, if I remain in the crowd, I can't wear a crown. So don't be afraid to step out of the crowd and become outstanding. I have my unique way and it has become a brand and it is selling. Number two, the critics. Oh, they said I didn't used to dress well. I preached very well, but I didn't used to dress well. But they didn't understand. Most people don't understand your pain. They don't understand what you are going through. They don't know the process God has set for you. Today, I am very well dressed. This is an expensive material, very expensive material. It's a gift. Somebody gave me five of them, paid for the sewing. The shoe is a gift. The cufflinks, gift. So I am wearing gifts. The simple principle is this. Favor is a reaction according to Adoeriri. So giving me these favors as a result of reaction to the impact I've made in their life. They see me as their product and they see me as their brand and they need to package me well. This dress I'm wearing is produced by the same tailor that sews for a governor elect in one of the states. So me that was wearing only a crown, that had two shoes that didn't dress well, and being clothed. Why? When they were spending money buying clothes, I was buying books. I was reading books. So I built my library instead of my wardrobe. 
when you build your library, your generation will come looking for you. When they come looking for you, they will bring what you will use to fill your wardrobe. But most people build wardrobe first before building a library. I have so many books I have bought that I have not even read. I just buy them. I was buying books without buying shoes. And my wife will ask me, have you finished reading the ones you bought before? I don't need to finish reading them. Harvard University is named after a pastor. Pastor Harvard, who donated his books. So I have books, lots of books. And I read a lot. So I developed my mind. I always say develop yourself and the world will coalesce around you. Then you have the concerned. There were people who came around because they were related to me. People who asked me, how will you feed? Uh, how will you feed? Some called me madman that I sold my hospital, that people are struggling to become doctors and I sold my hospital. They called me all kinds of names. They called me fake doctor. They called me a boy quaker. My in-laws insulted me. But the same in-laws, after I built that big school at Okokoko, they call me my big in-law. They celebrate me when they see me on social media. They hear my voice on radio. So don't listen to the critics. Concentrate another see on your life. The Bible says, shut your door against yourself in 2 Kings chapter 4, when the widow wanted to rebuild her life. Shut your door. People have opinions, but opinions don't bring money. Do that thing that can lead to your promotion. Then you have the critics, the cynical people. Somebody has asked me, uh, which Bible school did you all attend? I told the person, I've never been to a Bible school. I've been to the Holy Ghost Bible school. He teaches me. Like this message, I woke up with it. So he teaches me, gives me inspiration. Uh, I asked him, why do you say, um, where were you asking me which Bible school I, I attended? He said, some people say that I am Illuminati, that the same, that I'm a mystic, that uh, the same passage that they have read, if I talk from the same passage, it's as if they never read it. But the truth of the matter is that I meditate a lot on the passages that I read now, and so I do well. Everything is gift. Build your life, build yourself. The telephone is ringing, they come to pick me to go and speak. God bless you.